In this video, I'll provide an overview of our insurance comparison assignment. So here we are on our homepage, and I'll go ahead and click on the weekly modules. And then as I scroll down, I'll go ahead and close any modules we're not in. So this will help organize Canvas for you as you navigate. So here we are in the week eight module. Uh, here's a link to the video that you're watching right now, as well as the links and pages to the various assignments of the week. So you'll notice that uh, we have a different written assignment this week. There's no discussion board. Instead, you'll be doing an insurance quote comparison. I also have a link on how to do the in-text citations per APA. So if you didn't use APA last time for the consumer credit assignment, make sure to review this and do it correctly for the insurance quote comparison assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and click onto the assignment link. And this is where you'll click in to see the instructions as well as to submit the assignment. So when you write your assignment, you can see right up here is the submit button. When you click onto that, it will um, allow you to upload the file uh, right down here. So I would choose my file and pick whatever it is I'm trying to upload and then submit the assignment. So just looking back at the insurance instructions itself, in this assignment, you're going to obtain insurance quotes for either apartment or home insurance or automobile slash motorcycle insurance. Uh, if you're using the apartment or home insurance comparison, you can find this on page 280 of the text or in the chart I've provided right here. Or if you're doing automobile or motorcycle insurance, uh, there's a chart on page 281 or you could use the chart that I provided here. These charts are in Word right here so that you could use that for the assignment and fill it out and include it with your paper. But I also provided an Excel version of these charts in the Excel tools link in the Chapter 8 homework and files page. So if I go ahead and click on this uh, link right here, it'll pull up the insurance comparison assignment. So the instructions are listed here again in Word. But if we scroll down, you have the two charts that you can choose from. So if you're doing apartment or home insurance, you've got the table right here. Uh, and if we scroll down, if you're doing the automobile slash motorcycle insurance, uh, you'll see the chart right here. So whichever one you need, uh, use that chart and then just delete or remove the other chart, fill it out, and then go ahead and you could put your one page reaction and summary paper right in there, or you could have it separate and upload both documents. I've noticed everybody does it a little bit differently. Some folks separate them and some folks put it all in one doc. Uh, I'll accept it either way, but make sure to include the chart and uh, your one page paper. So using the chart I provided, you'll compare two quotes and attach it to your paper. And so item three here is you'll write a one page single space double between paragraphs. Please make sure to single space your content. That way we're all writing around the same amount. Uh, a double space between paragraphs so I can see where the next paragraph begins. And for your summary reaction paper, you'll be writing what you learned about the quotes and the coverages by following the Appendix A. So most everyone in class followed the appendix pretty well, but I will go ahead and go over this again uh, as a refresher. It's the same format as what you had in the consumer credit assignment. So when I click on this, here's the format. So the first part, which is a short paragraph, this is the summary of your work. It's only worth 10 points and it'll let me know uh, a bit of information about your process. It gives me the background or the context of what you did. So you'll want to explain why you chose the insurance coverages you did, why you chose home or apartment or why you chose car or motorcycle and um, which companies you looked at. You do not need to recite all of the details that are already in the chart that you filled out. Rather, the focus of the paper is on the reaction to your work. So this is the majority of the paper and it's worth 30 points. So these are the same questions you saw for the other assignments. Uh, the first bullet asks, how is this assignment related to the ideas and concerns in the course? So this is where you'll explicitly identify and explain concepts from the textbook and make sure to cite per APA format. Meaning if you identify a concept, let's say you talk about uh, car insurance coverage. You'll want to define or explain what it means according to the book or according to the discussions or lectures. Um, you could use outside sources too, but the primary source should be the textbook. And then explain how it connects to the assignment itself, right? You looked at car insurance coverages, uh, and so you'll match what you did to what you have been learning in the course. Now, it's great if you are linking multiple chapters from the course, but please use the primary chapter, in this case, home and auto insurance, to the assignment. 
For the second bullet, this asks, how is the assignment related to your life experiences, feelings, and ideas? So talk about what emotions that you noticed while you did the uh, assignment. Were you curious? Were you frustrated? Were uh, you surprised? Anything at all. And then also talk about how you've experienced it in your life. Have you done this before? Uh, have you not done it before? Have you recently been in a car accident or um, had to file a claim? Um, and so how does this relate to what you've already experienced? The third bullet asks, how is the assignment related to the present day world? So again, we want to think about the bigger picture, right? It's not just you and your insurance needs, but why is insurance important for the broader society, right? Think about uninsured motorists or uh, large catastrophes and its potential impact on homeowners or renters. And so there are bigger implications for this assignment for the world uh, in addition to your personal experience. And then the last bullet is, did the assignment increase your understanding of the issue? In this case, insurance. Uh, did your perspective change in any way? Why or why not? And it's totally fine if it hasn't changed. Maybe it reinforces something you already knew, or perhaps it did completely change your perspective and now you realize that, oh, maybe I should get some car insurance or improve my insurance limits. Uh, the last piece is worth 10 points. That's the points of consideration. So this is the grammar, professional writing, pr appropriate APA citations. Did you you follow the format of the assignment and also making sure that when you make a statement or a claim that you provide evidence. Uh, I might have given feedback previously where you meant you had one brief sentence perhaps about the present day world and I asked can you tell me more. So you want to explain why you're stating something so we would need evidence to support your statement. Now remember, if you don't do so great on the assignment or on any previous assignments, uh, you can resubmit uh, for regrading. And this includes if you forget to do an assignment, you can resubmit and potentially get full credit for it if you follow the instructions above. So if I go back, I go back again. So right under the assignment, I do have a link on how to do in-text citations. So I'll open that up again for you. Uh, I give some examples on how to do uh, APA in-text citation. So for our assignment, in terms of APA, I'm really just asking for it in terms of citations. So I know that you're integrating the course materials into your learning in the assignment. So if you have any questions, just let me know.